Well, hello again from Kingston. They say that the key to eating an elephant is to take it one bite at a time. And that's a little bit like building a bridge. It's an incremental matter and small things make big changes over time. So let's look at some of the small changes this week. Please, if you enjoy these updates, consider subscribing. I'd be really grateful. Let's begin this week on the main span. Work is constantly underway on the concrete spans. Here, on the 13th of 17 concrete spans, you can see work is taking place to complete the walkways and to prepare for the laying of reinforcing rod. On the steel span, which has enjoyed a certain priority, work is almost complete and ready for the delivery of concrete, thanks to the sterling efforts of all concerned, especially perhaps the iron workers. But there always seems to be room for just a little more material. And the main spans are almost always busy. Overnight snow going into Tuesday didn't cause a great deal of disruption. And we spotted AMG Metals delivering railings for the West End. They would go on to spend the next couple of days installing them with the excellent results we see here and here. A small expedition by a two-man team on Wednesday to check the ice depth was explained on Friday when workers were actually seen working from the ice at the West End by the bridge buggies. And on the subject of buggies, it's worth mentioning that the second buggy, deployed just last week, was removed on Friday afternoon, perhaps for adjustment and the first repositioned. A sure sign of progress. Away from the main spans, the iron workers of ABF have done an amazing job this week in appallingly low temperatures, probably to complete the installation of reinforcing rod on the east abutment. Kiewit staff on Thursday and Friday who seemed to be intent on removing surplus material, tidying up and checking. At the top of Gore Road, Black and MacDonald arrived back on scene where they would work to continue the installation of cables and controls. The work requires measurement of the cables involved, laying them out to confirm that they are straight, and then, with the assistance of the bucket lift, ensuring that they are introduced correctly to the various conduits, both underground and on poles. The last act is to secure any caps or covers. Link line fencing also returned to Gore Road this week with welding sets. After discussions with project engineers and setting up a spark screen, they got to work welding the fillets onto the existing fence poles. The work requires that every site be reduced to bare metal beforehand and then repainted afterwards. Before we go to wildlife this week, Let's take a look at a rising shot in wide angle across the bridge at the end of January 2022. 